Welcome to Marcus Washington in seven plays. If you're not familiar with what I do in this series, is I take a look at a player, a prospect, and, and highlight the t- what they are in a limited number of plays. And on this episode, I'm looking at an, a Texas transfer, Texas receiver, Marcus Washington, who is transferring to uh, the University of Nebraska. And... Uh, and I kind of show you through those seven plays the type of prospect he is and what Husker fans can expect out of their new transfer. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the tape. And as I said, he works his he's at his best working downfield. And I, I showed you how he can get vertical, especially down the seam. Here, uh, also against Texas Tech, he's down at the bottom of the screen. And he just uses that ability... Um, to get open. He's going to run and push like he's going to go deep and then just curl underneath that defender along the sideline. And he's got that ability that he can build his routes off of that that threat, that ability to go deep. Now he's releasing. He's pushing like he's going to get vertical. And then as he, that receiver is sitting, you know, dropping back into coverage, that, that cornerback, he's able to just curl out to the outside, have good timing with Casey Thompson, Huskers new starting quarterback uh, to make this catch and get another first down. And then as I showed before setting up his plays, Washington's able to also just be able to push deep and then sink his hips. As we see here against Kansas State, he was able to push, you know, those defenders deep with his that that speed to, to get vertical and then watch how he just sinks those hips. As he's going He's able to just sink those hips, make the strong cut back. That receiver's going, that cornerback's still going up the field, and he's able to break back to make that catch. And then we also see some savviness from Washington. Here against TCU, he's going to, you know, he's in the slot by his future teammate, O'Shawn Mathis, right there. And he's going to push and get, get a nice little body lean. As you can see from this play, it looks like. Washington's going to break outside, run a corner out, go to the corner of the end zone for a pass. But what he does is uses that body lean and then is able to just put a hard foot down and he beats that safety, that defensive back, to the middle and is in a position here to make a touchdown. Now he ends up dropping it, which you don't like to see, but if we're looking specifically at the route, watch him as he... He goes, gets that lean, and he leaves that that defensive back in the dust. And yes, he dropped it, and you want to see him make this catch. Uh, But as I'll show you in the next couple clips, Washington does have good hands, and this isn't something that's indicative of him as a player with a lot of drops. Um, You know, it just, just happened to be. Now, as I just showed you, he had a drop, but as I said in that last that last clip. He showed good hands throughout the clips than the plays and the games that I watched out of him. And the one thing I liked is his ability to go get the ball. Here against Oklahoma, he's lined up in the in a trip set, the middle of that trip set, and he's going to run a uh, kind of a, a, a wheel route. And this ball is put up there, and he's able to adjust and then go jump up and go get that ball. Look at the, that the, the burst off the up into his leap, high points it, adjusts by spinning back, is able to get that foot in um, right there. And it's just, I love this out of receivers, especially guys that work downfield, is that ability, that body control, and that uh, agility to be able to go up and high point the ball. Because not every throw is going to be perfect, and he, he is going, especially against Big Ten uh, cornerbacks, he's going to have some tight coverages, and can he go up and win at the catch point. And as we can see here um, from Marcus Washington, he shows that ability to go and get the ball. Now, I showed you his ability to go up and get the ball, and I'm not going to show him making routine catches, because, um, and I guess we kind of did with some of those other routes. Um, but here we have Washington uh, moving in motion, and they're going to throw him another ball kind of like on a wheel route, but look at his ability to go down low. So not only was he able to go up high, but he's able to go down and get that ball at, a, at his ankles, be able to make that catch, 
and get in for the touchdown. And it just shows that his catching radius. He can go up and get the ball and high point it, and he can also adjust down low to make those catches and and adjust to any poorly thrown balls. And, and that's, that's the one thing that really stood out to me. Yes, he makes the routine catches, and, and I showed a clip that he dropped a touchdown, but he has shown time after time that he has good hands and he can make catches outside of his frame. Now, the last clip that I want to show you is a special teams play. And Marcus Washington's right here on the left side. And I don't know how much special teams he's going to play. But one thing we do know is Nebraska's special teams hasn't been good. And Mickey Joseph has talked about his receivers are going to have a role. So who knows? We might see Marcus Washington on punt coverage. But we see here against Kansas, he's able to use his speed and his length to get in there and block a punt. And as you can see, he's able to use that speed, get off the edge of that wall, and he's able to come in and get his hand on that ball to block the punt. And it'd be awesome to see Nebraska get more blocked punts. Once again, I don't know how much Marcus Washington is going to be in this position, but he's shown the ability, the, the, the past of being on this coverage unit and going out and making a play. You know, Nebraska's hit the portal hard this offseason, and Marcus Washington is the latest addition to this roster. They had to revamp their passing attack, losing Samari Toure uh, to the NFL draft, seventh-round pick, and uh, Xavier Betts, who was kicked off, left the team, whatever it may be. And so they need help. You got Omar Manning. They added Trey Palmer. Alante Brown looks like he, you know, had a good spring. You know, you still have... Oliver Martin, you still have some of the walk-on guys, but they need help. And I think getting the addition of Marcus Washington is going to be a big help to this offense. Here's a guy who has experience, once again, not a ton, but he has experience playing at the Power 5 level. He has rapport with Nebraska's new starting quarterback, Casey Thompson, and He's got that ability to play in the slot and outside. He played a lot of slot at Texas. He reminds me a little bit of how Samari Toure was used last year. Um, I showed you the clip where he was used in motion. Texas at time would have a motion behind the quarterback. We saw that with Nebraska's rushing attack last year, uh, having Toure do that. I, I wouldn't be surprised with Scott Frost wanting to continue to have his hand in the rushing attack if Nebraska continues to run that receiver option type play, maybe, maybe not. But I think Washington's a guy that's going to compete for that third wide receiver spot. I think you're going to, he's going to compete with, you know, Trey Palmer with Alante Brown um, to be in that regular rotation. Um, Oliver Martin as well. And I think he's got a lot of potential. He's got a lot of skill set. I don't think he's this future highly touted NFL wide receiver prospect, but I think he adds more depth in this this receiving core that we have entering the 2022 season is probably deeper than what we've had at Nebraska the last several years, especially under Frost. So um, Husker fans, I think you have to be excited to get another weapon. Uh, We'll be curious to see what he can do on the field and, and what type of role he carves out. All right, that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode of Marcus Washington in seven plays. If you like this video, you want to see more, uh, hit that uh, subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. That's the way to get all my videos. Uh, while you're out there, follow me on social media, draft underscore Brian, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever it may be, draft underscore Brian. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. And until next time.